ever. It's so funny. You, it's like you just need I to can't. type in Mary Roach, and it'll yep. be your first yep. your first hit. It, there. It's Ryan from Tinder, not Brian from Tinder. Thanks. Um, Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh yeah, I'm I'm yes I oh, yeah, yeah. I am um, Thotimus Prime's actual date. Um, <laughs> but here we are getting into Sonic versus Lucas. Yeah. It's actually nice to see Bo back here too. I don't think yeah. I've seen him at these in the last couple weeks. He's been gone for a yeah. while. I think Thursdays aren't the best day for him. So yeah, it's that's the thing. There are a few people who've been getting bodied by their work schedules recently. Yeah. Um, but going right into it, Spinner is also a player who has been very much involved in the scene for a while, but he had a kind of a long break. Um, and then a decent amount of time where he wasn't showing up to too much. But now he's consistently back again, repping the Sonic. And it's good to have him back. Yes. We have a fairly even game here so far. Bo's doing a great job walling Sonic out at the moment. It's interesting, because Sonic's a character that can be very overwhelming. But he suffers so much. I think more than any other character, when you stop his momentum, he just doesn't know what to do, really. Yeah. He just uh, he needs that yeah. speed. He needs those combos. Ooh. And he went for the down air spike, yep. knowing he could come back from it. But the issue was he mistimed it, I think. Or I think he so went too, too low. Because I know he can come back from that. Yeah. I think he was kind of banking on a read, too, to hit, um, mm -hmm. hit Bo in his recovery and just kind of... But Spinner yeah. taking a deep breath, coming back, got a really clean yep. forward smash, still very much in this game. Beautiful conversion into the back air. It seems he's find more Ooh. he's found more footing with his pressure. I you know, it didn't work out that moment, but I did like that kind of walk back and go for the forward smash. That's um something you don't see a lot from players too much that I uh It's the, such a good mix yeah, up. The first time I actually saw it was watching Zero play and I thought it was so neat to see someone implement walking because it really throws them off. It does, and so. it's actually very good. Um, it has its uses because you're able to shield faster because you don't have the skidding animation. You like When you dash and you stop, you don't have that skidding animation yeah. when you're walking. And a back throw, get him off stage. Ooh. Bo with the great option covered at the Ooh. ledge. I like the F smash choice, but couldn't yeah. quite time it right. Ooh. Throw. Spinner choosing not to try and follow yes. up with up B. Uh, I'm guessing the percent's a little too high now to follow up those up throws. I think also being safe whenever you're down is so smart. Yeah. Ooh, and a beautiful forward throw. Um, that will take the stock. Wow. That is Sonic's kill throw. That's such a vertical throw for being a it, forward throw. It's like, very wow. strange. That's why it catches a lot of people off, and it's actually kind of hard to DI because you're not ready for the forward throw mm -hmm. to, like, yeah, send them at that very almost 90-degree <laughs> angle. All right, now Spinner commanding the stage, just looking for any quick combos he can get, looking for that slight damage buildup. He has to make sure he doesn't overextend. A great turnaround forward smash and almost another one. Ooh, Ooh. going for those forward smashes. Yeah, uh, he's gone for a few of those now. Yeah, um, he's facing them really well, though. He's yeah. only gotten punished for one. Ooh. Let's, let's see if Spinner can get in here. Oh, there we go. There's some damage. And we have a fairly even game, but eats the sweet spot I, on the fair. I never know when Sonic's doing a side B or a down B. Mm -hmm. But I know when it's the neutral one, because that's the homing attack. Exactly. <laughs> I'm watching this. I'm like, which kind of spin dash is this? <laughs> Let's play a game. Yeah. <laughs> which like, one is it? It's like the Olimar, Olimar up tilt nair game. It's just Olimar as a character. Which move is he doing? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ooh, right. back throw back will throw. not do it. Yeah. The not, nerf hammer. Not a kill throw anymore. Yep. But um, Ooh. he did build up a lot of percent back now. It's become a very even game. Ooh. Ooh, oh, and back the back throw, throw will do it. Okay, yeah. good set by Bo standing that his ground, waiting for the opportunity. <laughs> yes, Lucas's throw game is intensely good. It's probably his, I think that's kind of his character gimmick, is that he has kill throws and he has combo throws. Like, he gets a lot off his throws. Lucas yeah. is so good at messing up people who shield a lot. Um, I think it just, works out yeah. very well in Bo's favor, favor too, because mm. he, he tends to be very um, patient and a very spacing player, uh, yep. using his Zares and his side Bs to space out, and then when they get in, he can whip out that grab and play, yes. play to that advantage for Lucas. So Bo definitely uh, has the play style down very well for Lucas. It's a very defensive, very zone-heavy, very bait-oriented Lucas. And it's Burnett. He dyed his hair. 
And he's got those salmon shorts. He went to American Eagle for those. All right, going into game two, we are in Smashville again. Um, to be fair, yeah, I think Spinner, it's a matter of switching up play styles. I think the yeah. stage is just fine. Yeah, I don't I think, think the stage was too much of a problem either. Yep. And, you know, his early SD kind of hurt him a bit too. Yep, but I think, yeah, that's the thought process there. Do, 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 do. All right. Spinner playing it a lot safer this time, making sure not to get too overzealous. Ooh, a footstool. I wonder how consistently Sonics can do that, where they can it, do like a nair into footstool type thing. You know, I was falling into it a lot playing it friendly with Spinner, um, so hmm. it I, it can be pretty consistent. I think that, or you know, I'm just bad, but could be it, uh, yeah. Sonics also like mashing the jump button in that moment too. Yeah. Ooh. Again, very well spaced with these back airs, adding that walling pressure, keeping Bo from out of center stage. Yep. And there we go, that's the edge guard. Bo shaking his head a little bit. I think I mean, the rec he didn't mean to recover that way yeah. at all. It was like the, the F smash was pretty free at that point, yeah. kind of falling down that way. There is, it's not like yeah. he had anywhere else to go. Lucas's recovery, as with Ness's, definitely has a bit of a learning curve in terms of learning all the angles. Mm -hmm. uh, been there, done that. It's tricky. It's tricky. But, tricky, we, tricky. but we have Spinner with a commanding lead once again. Here we go. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Nice PK fire to stuff that approach by Bo. Trying to find different ways of falling out. I wish he did PK fire a bit more. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it's really good in this matchup because it has a multi-hit. So not only does it hit Sonic out of his spinning, but then it uh, hits it like it hurts him. It yeah. sends him into a knockback. Oh, wow, good uh, choice with the ledge attack get up that like space like perfectly so he was safe. Yeah. But with a lot of ground to make up though right now. Looking like a tough situation. Yeah. It um Oh he, yeah, he, he, oof, he needs the kill now. Like yes. there, there's nothing else to it. Oh ooh. no! Okay. Spinner and, getting punished, trying yep. to punish. Um, and to be fair, though, Spinner definitely had the... He has the lead yeah. to kind of go for that edge guard situation. Now he knows. He's like, okay, I will not chase uh, yeah. Lucas that far next time. Unless you can get out there real early. Really you just early, can't exactly. challenge it. Yeah. Exactly. Or you are you have a counter. Or you have to be very <laughs> ready to tech. Yeah, or a counter. Or you have a counter. Uh, that's so fun. Yeah, a very slow-paced game. Spinner's definitely took control. Uh, he's looking re a lot better than game one here. A yeah. lot more composed. Now just kind of getting a lot of the, the small chip damage, just waiting for the opportunity to finish Bo. Um, right. Now Bo, down but not out, and again, as you said, um, Mary Gil Bo. He's a very... <laughs> so Bo, that's funny. Uh, he's a very solid player, and he knows how to wall decently. And it's Ooh. very possible. Ooh, back air. It's very possible if we go to game three, we're going to see an adaptation of sorts. <gasps> Ooh. Amazing. Downward angle two to catch the ledge just to make sure he was going to get that. And a great timing Definitely. on the two frame. And that was a, was that a re-grab two from Bo? So he kind of was... It might have you know, been. It was like... You know, Bo can't re-grab a third time. He's got to make a choice now. So It definitely might have yeah. been a uh, pro tip. Don't grab the ledge twice unless you have a very good reason to. Yeah. Um, I, I feel like people should know that by now. But you never know. It might be yeah. if you're a newcomer, uh, know that it's not like in other Smash games. You don't get in invincibility after you drop once. Yep. You only get it after you've been attacked. All right. Bo with the uh, town and city choice now. Now I personally, um, I'm not too familiar enough with Lucas to know why he would choose town and city. But the only like, thought I have is down throw to up air. Okay. Or up throw yeah, itself. Just, you know, not to dwell on the stage. Yeah. I just I when of Sonics like to up throw you and up B and kill you off the top. Town and city seems like a dangerous yeah. choice to me. My but. thing with it, I feel like it gives Sonic way more room to mess around. And I feel like Bo's trouble he's displayed since game two has been finding answers for these approaches. Yeah. Like maybe uh, the tri-platform would have been a little better so that yeah. Spinner has a little less room to kind of spin dash and free, freely use the space around him. Yeah, maybe Dreamland because then he still yeah. would have had the low ceiling. Yeah. All right. But all that aside, yep. we still got to match anyone set here in game three. 
spinner with a, another early lead again. Ooh, and Ooh. the gimp. Oh, very. Yeah, that was a that very spring. questionable going off stage of Bo. I don't know if he was fearful of something. Um, yeah, it was a, it was a bit strange, and yeah. that that's going to be big. That's a big lead for spinner right now. Ooh, okay. Forward smash gun for the read. Bo can't. Say, oh, oh, that was a scary situation. Yeah. That could have been it, or that could have been an intense comeback. One of the yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I, I almost, even though he probably would have ran out of time, I almost would have liked to see like a grab and quick throw. But I, right. I think Bo would have got carried off too if he went for it. So Ooh. it was a smart decision. Great option with the homing attack there, allowing uh, Spinner to recover high, and another conversion with the back air, going to put Bo in a really precarious situation. Ooh. Forward throw, not going to do it just yet, but getting close to that kill percent. Uh, Ooh. Scary stuff. Yeah, Boat desperately Ooh. trying to hang on. That will do it with the Rage. He's wow. going to use that to yeah. his advantage. And He's only at 80, 80 you know, or so. Stranger things have happened. I mean, Lucas has a lot of spiking capabilities. We could see a gimp. Yeah, definitely. That'd be hard, but... Is it his, um, his back air can spike, I believe, and then his down air can yep. knock Yep, last hit of down air. Those are the two. You can drag him down with Nair, potentially Ooh. gimp him that way. Forward throw, not going to do it, but that uh, that vertical yeah. um, limitation of, that of the to stage. Help him a bit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's another reason. I feel like Sonic's throws are also upwards for the most part, so I wonder. Okay, good damage on the Nair, though. Ooh, oh, oh clips him. Fair. Dorothy is going home, those <laughs> heels. Good stuff by Spinner coming yeah. back from a really rough start with yeah. the SD in game one. M much cleaner game two and three from Spinner. Yes, looking really good. Yeah, and hopefully Bo showing off a good display as well. Um, hopefully he can, if he faces Spinner again, he can think of different ways to stop those approaches next time. Yeah. And here's the really good Spring Gimp. Bam. Ooh. That was great lead time, too. Right before Lucas had any chance of using his magnet hands to grab yeah. the ledge. Um, I'm afraid we've seen a